<laughs> so Drew, since I didn't have us on record, I'm going to let you tell a little bit about yourself. Um, Absolutely. And, um, the five-time icon stud, and we're excited to learn from you today, buddy. <laughs> yep. Thanks for having me on the show today, Kathy. Uh, guys, I've been in the business since 2003. Uh, seems like forever. Uh, but then it also seems like it, it, you know, that I just started yesterday because I'm I'm learning every something new every single day. And uh, I think she did a great job with the intro. Um, I have, uh, I, let's see, 2020 and 2021, I was ranked the number two uh, individual agent without a team in Indianapolis. Uh that was about 75 transactions and $32 million uh, both of those years. And then um, I decided that I wanted, especially with the crazy market that we probably all experienced, the best way to continue to serve my clients and provide the best client experience possible, I needed to form a team. And what that did was that allowed me to not only provide exceptional service uh, at a high level, but also have impact and bring other people into the fold and help train them. And um, some of them have went on to to be icons uh, with with EXP already just by getting their their start, you know, kind of on on my team. So I think I attribute it to to three things uh, uh, living intentionally. Uh, That'd be number one, trying to exceed expectations and, and being consistent. It, th those are the three things. There's nothing really sexy about it. Um, but I think if you guys kind of live your life by design and you're intentional with everything that you do, um, I think you'll you'll be able to live a great life and, and build a great real estate career. And so I have prepared for you guys a slideshow. Let me see if I can get there. Um, here we go. Can you see that, Kathy? I can. All right. So I've never built, uh, or I've built a 100% like referral-based business. I've never purchased a lead um, in my life. This is my why. I kind of want to start anytime. Uh anybody introduces me, they always want to lead with, oh, he sells this many houses. But honestly, guys, it's it, this is my why. And this is what gets me excited. Um, I know you can't tell I'm excited by my monotone voice, but I promise I wake up every day with energy and enthusiasm just to serve, serve other people and make as many friends, you know, along the way as possible. So we've got Lindsay, my wife, Grayson, who's 11, Sully's the upside down one, he's nine, and Addie's six. Um, and I schedule family stuff first. We have a meeting. So if you've got a spouse or a partner, uh, it is setting the fun stuff first. That's the best part about real estate and then filling in real estate um, in, in the gaps left over with the week. So I'm very systematized. I like to uh, always show gratitude and have systems and processes built. Um, this is just something that I do on Thanksgiving and I'm using KV Core, which is provided by EXP. And I'm always dropping into people's lives, just showing up, showing up and, and not always talking about real estate. I mean, this is just thanking them for, for friendship and, um, and, and letting them know that how much you appreciate their support. This is something that I do for every single listing that we sell. I actually have one, one here, but you guys can see it on the screen. And basically, uh, real estate's a very emotional thing. This is kind of what it looks like. It's got the address, my name on the bottom. It's a bittersweet process. So by the time your seller gets to the closing table, they're exhausted and they want, you know, they want to turn this over, this home over to the buyer uh, because maybe they brought their home, kids home to, to the home or 
they, this house was special because they spent many Christmases in it, whatever it may be. So this only costs $40. If you guys are looking for, uh, I can get, share the contact of the person that does it. Um, and she'd be willing to do it uh, for you guys and mail it to wherever you're at. Uh, are, they, are they hand painted, Drew? They're hand, they're hand painted. You and can, glass? You, you can either do glass or plastic. I prefer plastic just because kids fight over this ornament and it drops and then I got to make them a new one. Or sometimes I've actually, they it did like a remote closing and I was trying to reach into their mailbox and text them. It's in their mailbox and I dropped it in the streets. So I was like, hey, can we pivot to a... Uh, a plastic ornament and it and it's worked out worked out really well but i'm telling you so many social media shout outs and this is something every single year that is you know when i'm giving a gift i'm not giving a Druco realty nike dry fit shirt i'm trying to tailor the gift to the receiver and be intentional uh like i said at the very beginning of this talk um, so this was a family of, uh, let's see, there's, there's five, this was a couple years ago, actually. So the story here was there were nine kids, one of them passed away and this was the family home and the only home that these kids knew. And three of the, uh, siblings are here in Indianapolis. The other are different parts of the United States. And I thought, you know, gosh, this is a huge family. When they get together for Christmas, they have to rent out an entire restaurant. Wouldn't it be cool if I had a hand paint and ornament for each one of the kids? Uh, and, and it's doing little things like that, um, that I feel like people take notice of. And since just doing that, I think I've got four different transactions, four referrals from this family, um, just by staying intentional and, and putting them into systems like this. So using KV core to, uh, to, I like to say I have a high tech, high touch business. So you have to be real and you have to be authentic. And they KV core has got 125 different templates already written for you. But I like to, again, reiterate to my clients that I'm trying to create the best client experience possible. And in Indiana, we have to remind them to file exemptions. And so I will, I will send that 45 days after every closing, um, just again, as a, an additional touch point to them, um, just because I'm often running to the next deal. Um, I take the people that have bought, sold, or referred. So last year, our team sold 106 homes for I think 53 million, maybe 52. And so we've got 106 buyers and sellers and 106 uh, referring parties. And let's see if I, here's, here's like what my email looks like here. So I, beginning the fourth quarter, I will double the entries because I'm the one giving away a free TV every year. And I've done this for about 15 years. And it's, again, super systematized, super easy. I got a call the other day from a guy I went to high school with and said, he said, hey, my brother's moving back to Indianapolis. Does this get me in your TV giveaway? Because he's bought and sold with me before and he's referred. So people pay attention to the things. And if you're consistent, like it's just, it's such an easy thing to do. I actually have the TV already purchased on Amazon Prime Day. It was like $250 for a Toshiba 50 inch TV. So super easy and it people get competitive. And how many, how many entries in the drawing can I get? And hey, Drew, I've known you since first grade and I referred myself. So I wanna make sure that I get <laughs> that entry. Okay, you're good. But it's, again, a fun thing uh, to do. Um, I KV Core also has a function of, of neighborhood market update. Are all your people on that? Um, I've been using HomeBot, which I partner with a lender, and I think it's $25 a month. Uh, and the turn just 
the the fact that I have something that is talking about real estate because so many things I do, my secret is just try to make people feel feel comfortable. I think that's the secret of sales. But I'm not trying to talk about real estate every single time I talk to them. But I do have something that I send to them that does show that I'm the expert. And um, just a quick trivia question, since Kathy's mic's probably unmuted. Any reason why I would set this up for 28 days to go out? Putting you on the spot. First thought is everyone else puts people on a 30-day campaign but and they do the that because <laughs> it, it allows you an extra touch so it allows me to touch them 13 times ah there you go uh versus the 12 and there's lots of other things that i'm doing as well but here's what the home bot looks like and this is daventry and daventry actually i saw the analytics and every monday home bot sends me an email telling me who's been clicking around and Daventry just just closed two weeks ago because I was able to have a system in place and Daventry was like focused on his home evaluation and reached out to him, just happened to pop in. Hey, man, how are things going? He's like, uh, perfect timing. I'm actually thinking about selling. I'm getting married and moving out of state. Perfect. So like, I know these systems work. This is, uh, this is the mom of someone uh of josh metallic and it's she's saying hey josh said there's something called homebot that can give us an estimate of our home's worth do you know anything about that so again they go in the fold so like people are talking about what what drew's sending them each month and again it's not like i'm the wizard of oz i'm just high tech high touch i love doing uh you know bringing surprising people again on moving day so uh, during COVID, especially I was, uh, there's a ale emporium, which is the best wings in town and everyone loves the beer, pizza and wings from there. So I was, uh, hopping, uh, going over, meeting the family members and again, spending a hundred dollars on, on the client while they're moving in stuff. And I had, you know, being a big, big guy, they were asking me, I had to carry some couches and pianos and such but hey they, they'll remember the hustle and they'll definitely remember how good you know the food tastes for sure this is something i'm going to next uh friday night so i um i usually reserve this for maybe a higher end house i sold a 2.2 million dollar house last year and i said hey i would love once you get settled in to text me and then I'm going to host a sushi party with all your friends. And I've heard people doing these uh, housewarming parties and sponsoring those. And this is an actual sushi guy that we uh, brought into our own home. And now I'm taking it on the road and I'm going and taking it to special clients and then having them show off the new house that they bought. And then this is my wife and I and then the delicious sushi uh, that's just so good and so fresh. Um, I am a social butterfly. I feel like I like to uh, attach to things that are already planned. You know, if you guys are not good planners and you're not good coordinators, you don't have to be. But like life just throws invitations uh, at you and utilize the things that are right in front of you and you know my like for instance this was the easter egg hunt at the place that i play golf at and i i have a list of everyone that i know at the club and so i was reminding them about this easter egg hunt and sent them all personalized texts so knowing reminding them that it was coming up on the weekend of easter and I show up and there's 25 people, some that weren't even planning on going. And again, Drew's not paying for them. Drew's just alerting them and again, staying connected with them. And so I think it's just being intentional and looking at the calendar. Like we have, a, we're going to go to the high school football game um, and I'm going to be texting a bunch of different people to that. Uh, last 
Notre Dame had a big uh, victory over over Navy. So I have a list of all my clients that are Notre Dame fans, and I sent them all the same text, basically just saying Notre Dame's finally got a quarter quarterback. You got to be really pumped about the Irish. And a hundred percent of the people responded because I, again, being intentional. And it just starts conversations. So you just got to know your people, know who the bourbon drinkers are, um, know what sports they like, whatever interests, and do the things you like to do too. Like that's, uh, I'm following Notre Dame. I want to see them, see them do well. So uh, again, and these are the things that I have going on with my life. It's, it's more birthday parties for kids than it was weddings, but uh, you you always get invited to these things. And I feel like if you just go to them and and let people know what you do along the way and get as much information, I think, um, you know, and have a reason to follow up with them. I think that's crucial. Um, working on your business and not in your business is something that I do very good at. I have a system where Facebook. I've got 5,000 Facebook friends. Every uh, every morning I get an email from Facebook and then I find creative ways to wish people, whether that be uh, my clients, whether that be uh, other agents, maybe that I'm trying to attract to our company uh, and find funny ways of doing it. Like, so I like, here's an example, go to famousbirthdays.com and send a text to Laura and Ryan Davis because I get two touches texting the husband and the wife, Bob Saget, Derek Huff, and Ryan Davis, three of my favorite people, all a year older today. Happy birthday, Benight. That's what I call him. That's his obscure middle name. And then that's, and then Laura's birthday just happened to be a couple days later. And then look, if you look at the one on the right, when it was Drew's birthday, People now send me hilarious things back on May 29th when it's my birthday because I take the time uh, to be intentional. Instead of just writing on their Facebook wall, I have systems that are, you, it's really hard to automate it, but if you just take 10 minutes to take the time to send them a DM versus writing on their wall, you don't have to go as the funny route like I like to do. Um, I just think it's more meaningful doing it that way. Uh, setting up coffee meetings three times a week. Like here's just the math here. Uh, this has been a huge secret to my success is have your list of your database, the people that you know that are easy for you to get to and meet at the same coffee shop three times a week and you get 150 meetings a year and I guarantee 10% of them will either buy, sell, or refer. And here's a chance for you to get 15 extra deals. I'd prefer to go coffee uh, over over lunch or beers just because the I'm running the kids around to wherever or coaching the kids. So coffees and we all need coffee. Uh, it's cheaper if you're if you're going to be buying, you know, buying for the other people. Here's a trick. IU Purdue big uh big rivalry. I will bet people on the IU Purdue game and I'm an IU fan and my wife's only flaw is she went to Purdue. So I uh, just wanted to throw that in in case she's listening. I know she's not, but all my Purdue clients, I will text them and we have bets and maybe they'll end up buying if my team covers the spread. So um, there's a baby boom going on. So again, like as soon as people make sure all your people in your database are on all your social media channels. And then when you see that they had a baby, I mean, it just so happens as families expand, people need to, they might grow out of their house. Who are they going to call? Are they going to call the realtor that dropped off a monogram bib and onesie that has their newborn child's name on it? I think so. That's twenty six dollars. Again, I'll I'll give you all this information, Kathy. And you can yeah, send yeah. it out. Um, just having a system each Monday to review all your prospects, upcoming listings, 
past clients, anybody that has talked to you about a house. Uh, there's nothing more frustrating than last week. I sent out football calendar magnets and a bunch of, uh, it happens to me too, guys, other people, they, for whatever reason, bought a home with another realtor or they moved addresses and they didn't tell me. And that's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm looking to get better and I don't get bitter about it. And again, I go back to practicing gratitude and that will help you, uh, help you get through like the tough times when you, when, when some, when the ball doesn't go your way, um, asking for testimonials, this is big. So this is part of my KV core process as well as I have a 30 day automated email that goes out just with a link to my, Zillow profile and uh, Zillow helps. It helps me. I don't give Zillow any money, but where what where this has come into play is last year. Someone called me and said, "Hey, I'm looking at your online profile, and everyone says you're amazing." And I'm like thinking, my online profile. I'm 100% referral based. What are they talking about it? And then I figured it out. It was my Zillow profile, and that ended up telling, turning into 2.2 million dollars just because I had a, a setup. It also gives me social media material. If you want to post um, about what people are saying versus you telling people that you're the greatest. So this is. Uh, what I say in my KV core email, uh, basically just again, telling them that referrals are the lifeblood of my business. And I have a huge favor to ask. And I actually send them a $10 Starbucks gift card. I've got stacks of them in my uh, office if they do um, fill that out. This is something that we do in uh, by Memorial Day, because that kind of depending on where you guys are at in the country, but that we're in Indiana. So it starts getting hot uh, in the summertime. And so we do uh, embroidered uh, towels to every buyer and seller from the previous 12 months. So anyone from June 1st of last year to uh I think it was like May 15th of this year. We put them in a pile, we you know, a pile, a spreadsheet and uh, put their family's last name. And then we had these uh, dropped off at their house and we hand delivered them with a nice note, just thanking them for, for their support. Uh, these towels were probably $17, $18. Um, but again, super solid and do it every year and then you go to these local pools and there's the there's the towel they're using it uh so this i'm a big christmas uh christmas guy so i will dress up like buddy the elf uh which is funny to a lot of people because i'm bald um and i actually i don't think i have anything showing my my events but uh i do a client appreciation event at a local uh, local store and it attracts like 450 of my past clients and families. And it's just, I've been doing it for many years, but this is a very cheap way. I used to burn CDs, as you can tell, like I would go to elfyourself.com and like, listen, October to, I just go to Google who's coming up with the new uh, releasing new Christmas albums. Oh, it's Taylor Swift and CeeLo Green and Rod Stewart. So then I would go on Apple and I'd pick the best, most downloaded song. And then I'm a big straight no chaser acapella guy. They went to IU, go Hoosiers. And uh, one of them is one of my best friends who lives in Nashville. Um, and so I will put always acapella or pentatonics. It's always upbeat. It's not like a Mannheim steamroller uh, put you to sleep and all the, that's okay. Music. Um, I just like to have words. So, um, I'm not a big nutcracker fan, although my, my niece is about to be Clara in the upcoming, uh, nutcracker play here shortly. But so this is what I did back in, um, I probably stopped doing this. I got up to 600 CDs. It was a production for me to 
burn them on a tower and then buy all the labels, print them all off, stomp them. And then I would have them in people's mailboxes before Thanksgiving. And I purposely do that because that's when people are putting their Christmas tree up. And Drew is a part of their tradition every single year. And they're like, it's not Christmas until we get Drew Schrader's Christmas CD. And so now what I do is I go on Spotify and I have taken all of these uh, hits and put them on Spotify playlists. And then I will send the 2023 one out. Um, and if people are new to the Drew Schrader, like they just... They, they love Christmas and they haven't been a part of my past. Well, then they, I will send them like the whole catalog and people just love it. And again, uh, I'm able to, this is a big KV, KV Cortex. So this, instead of sending it to 600, I think it went to 2,100 people last year. Um, let's see. And then as I'm burning this CD, I'm, I'm texting people that I know love the CD and love Christmas and telling them that uh, Megan, okay, here's here's me texting about the birthday thing for Laura Lawrence. So to show you that I'm not full of it and I really do it. Um, and then next I do, it's Christmas CD time and I'm texting Laura Lawrence that I'm putting this Megan Trainer song and she's calling it Ear Candy uh, and letting her think that she is part of the production of the CD. Um, Gosh, this is a big one for me. It's who not only helping uh, my family out and, you know, I think what keeps me up at night is like, who are my kids going to be? Are they going to be good, kind people? When I drop them off at school every day, I tell them they need to be the kindest kids at St. Louis de Montfort. And I'm always coaching. Um, I'm volunteering here to the fourth grade camping trip. I have lots of special relationships with lots of different people in the school uh, I'm not necessarily like handing my business card out to every single person, but I think just spending time and investing in the community that builds a tremendous amount of respect and trust, which, you know, how you do anything's how you do everything. And I feel like you're going to earn more business just by being a good dad and a good husband. Um, and again, just pouring back into the community. Um, I think you have to have, uh, going back to the high tech, high touch, you have to have a social media strategy where you're automatically posting things. Um, and that's what Planoly does for me. And I use word swag to create uh, funny things. I've got coffee and contracts, which is kind of like content calendar stuff. Um Canva, obviously, a lot of people know what Canva is, but I'm kind of focusing on four things like uh, your why. Obviously, my family is really big, so I'll probably um, talk about them the most. My passions, my passions are golf and real estate and um uh, gosh, they're people. So, uh, my quirks, I mean, just weird things about like my, how my wife doesn't vacuum the car. She just like lets the kids take goldfish crackers and throw it all over her car. So I kind of throw her under the bus and then I show people what I love going to sparkling image and getting a car wash and getting the interior detail for, uh, I don't know what, $45 a month. And again, it's just, then people are like, Drew, that reminded me, I need to do this. And then I get pictures of them going to sparkling image and then vulnerability. Talk about things that you're, you're, you, you need to get better at. Like I went on, I, I had the, for the last two weeks been talking about I'm really need to find a way to connect with my dog. And so I decided I'm going to wake up at 529 AM every morning. That's when I was born May 29th. And I'm going to walk my dog for a half hour and uh, listen to podcasts and build that, uh, build that morale with, with, with Louie, the dog. And uh, I think every time I go to, a sporting event or the school or wherever it is, people are asking me 
about my dog and how how are you and Louie doing? And it's just crazy to me. Um, I think never let a compliment go unsaid. So every time you're having these meetings or someone's kid does something great in sports or you see something, I think going above and beyond, don't just send them a text, but get some stationery from Vistaprint with your name on it and get, get into handwritten notes. Um, I have even bought uh, on Etsy like a cool looking stationery and I, because my, I have third grade handwriting, so I would rather do more notes, type them in, and then just send them out that way versus the handwrite, handwritten stuff. But I have a whole pile of handwritten notes, uh, because again, when you, when you have a tough day, which we all do, I'm looking back at, at, at all these handwritten notes. Um, here's kind of my prospect, prospecting plan for the week, um, that, I feel like you guys have to go on the offense. Things are just not going to happen. But if you're intentional with your actions, it's very easy to do. So you got to pick up the phone, call five, five people every day, every day, Monday through Friday, you can take weekends off. You're commenting on social media posts as much as it's important for you guys to, you know, put content out there. You got to show love to other people. And that's the that's how I feel like people uh, people know you're watching. And like if you can share other agents listings or you share a post from somebody else, they feel valued. Um, the DMs, I mean, a, a lot of that is birthday type stuff. Um, but I feel like that's just an intentional way. Uh, Instagram stories, really easy to do that with or Facebook Messenger, whatever you guys prefer to do. And then uh, I'm trying to post three times personally um, each week. So just live your best life and let people know what you do along the way and make it fun if you want it, want it to get done. And that concludes my presentation questions please man so many great ideas and things i mean you can tell just what you're going through with your presentation that you're very intentional like you said you said that word a few times um today you're very intentional which is you know why you're doing the business you're doing along with that consistency so who has some questions for drew or comments Don't be shy. <laughs> uh, let, let me, I can put. You know, oh. Really good stuff, Drew. Thank you so much. I have so many notes I can barely keep up, but um, I love all the ideas, the touches that you do. Uh, I got a lot of notes. And so I'm excited. I'm going to mimic a lot of the things that you're doing. Thank you so yeah. much. Imitation's the highest form of flattery. So here's my cell phone number. Oh, Tim Hollanden's in the house. How are we doing, Tim? You're, oh, muted, Kim. you're muted. Sorry, didn't take it when I touched it the first time. Yeah. I just wanted to pop on and say thanks, man. I, you know, you and I have been buddies since we both joined EXP about the same time. And uh, uh, one of my dear friends that I wouldn't have if we hadn't have come to the same company. But uh, I'd forgotten more than than I remembered about all the things you went over. Because you and I have talked about a lot of this. And I just want to say to everybody, gosh, if you do 10% of what Drew talked about, you're going to be way more successful than you are today. So thank you from the bottom of my heart for being here and, and pouring into the, the other Freedom Team members. Appreciate you. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah, take my cell phone number down, guys. I'm in Indianapolis. And if you need anything, whether it's a KV Core template, just so you can see what I've implemented, um, I bet I could probably share the, I, the, the, um, what do they call it? The token. And then you guys could just automate it into your, uh, your systems, uh, for Katie. Yeah, if you could send that to me, Drew, then what we do is we post the, the we'll post this recording in the freedom team, um, on workplace. And then I can put that along with the recording in there. The only problem I can see right now is the the tokens might say everything about Drew in it. So, um, but I'll get you something just recapping the whole slides. That'll be a good like Google Doc uh, for people to follow. And again, 
um, you guys have a friend in me and reach uh, reach out to me if there's anything I can do to help you. Good. So do you do any YouTube um, stuff, Drew? YouTube, TikTok, those are things that are on, in the works. I have a new girl that I'm, I've hired and that was kind of part of the, the job description. So no, uh, I know it's important to do. I feel like um, I'm, I, I feel like it's definitely important and that's the direction that it's, it's heading, but like so much of what I do is just automated video, like video text, letting people know, um, and they're personalized, letting them know how much I care about them and appreciate them or trying to make them laugh. And I feel like that gets me a lot more mileage than, than the, the mass audience type stuff that makes sense yeah like we talked about this before in some of the pr uh, prior trainings but the video text birthday messages you know like so many they so many people they'll just get all these you know happy birthday kathy on facebook right you know you look it's 200 300 happy birthdays but how many video messaging texts do you get whether you do it through messenger or whether you send it if you have their phone number send them a text you know, happy birthday, you know, to your past clients. I mean, go so much further or farther than, you know, just a happy birthday on their wall. Well, even when you're in the marketplace and there's a hot new listing and the listing agent is just being bombarded with all these questions, you and you don't know them, you send them a video text. Um, and when you present the offer, and again, it takes that cold yeah. connection and turns it into a warm one so quickly um and so we do that and i teach that and people i get feedback from our agents here and there's just so many success stories that have come from it uh because there are agents that will just send over you know the dot loop or the sky slope and here it is with not with no background regarding the buyer uh, or who they are or who the lender is and all that stuff. So it just really helps from a, a visualization standpoint. That's a great tip. So I hope y'all caught that. So send a video text when you send your offer to somebody. Send that to the listing agent and just say, hey, I just sent you an offer. Um, you know, do you in your video text, do you um, do you give the lowdown on the buyer or do you just yep. put that in the information? Or you're doing that all on video. Man, I love yeah. that idea. Hey, Kathy, it's Drew Schrader with EXP Realty. Uh, I noticed that you're friends with Tim Hollanden on Facebook. Tim's a great guy, blah, blah, blah. Tell a little bit, maybe something about how I know Tim. Um, and then I say my buyer's, pre-approved with so-and-so they're local they've been doing this for blah 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 they are when they saw the house they like this 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 and this these are the terms of the offer that's coming over uh looking forward to working with you i've been seeing your signs all around town and just excited about the opportunity of of closing a deal with you and it's just yeah, like, I love that. Like 24 years in business, I've never done that, nor have I ever received one of those. Mm -hmm. I mean, I love that idea. So right. I mean, talk about making yourself stand out as right. an agent. Yeah. yeah. Super good. Who has any questions, comments um, for Drew? We've got um, a few more minutes here. So um, who's got some questions for Mr. Drew? Adrian, I see your. Did you get to? I'm sorry. This is Tracy Wiggins. Go ahead, Tracy. Did you get to share where you got the towels from? I don't know if I missed it. Yeah. Or so in. what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, I will put a Google Doc together with who does the burp cloth bibs, okay. onesies, the the ornaments. Um, okay. You guys could do it. There are some agents. I mean, there's Compass agents. There's FC Tucker. There's all these. I, I'm colorblind when it comes to brokerages because I mm -hmm. need all these agents to pick my offer and work with me. Right. Um, and so I have relationships all over Indianapolis and it just helps us in the marketplace. So I'm sharing all of this 
with everyone. So I will put that in there and seriously, guys, like take it and run with it and make it your own, however, however you want. But yeah, I will put that, uh, the link of the the lady on Etsy that I've befriended and she's yeah. been great. So. Okay, great. Thank you. I didn't know if I missed it or not, but thanks so much. Yep. Even as a gym person, I'm sitting here thinking about how you do sweat towels too. Something even yeah. small. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's a good idea too, Tracy. I like that too. Um, do you have like the campaigns that you could share or what you have in KB Core that what you're sending out? I love the home buy. Um, you know, that's a great idea. We've talked about that in the past on, on here a couple of times, but that's a great idea because, you know, what is everybody, when you talk to a client and you haven't spoken to them in a minute, what do they always say? What's the interest rate? How's the real estate market? Right. Yeah. You know, so when you're sending in that home bot report and you can see when they open that too, right? Well, you I mean, I think just last night I got, I was on a phone conversation with somebody I hadn't spoken to in a couple of years, but we text a lot. And so I finally just said, Hey, let's hop on a phone call. And now it's turned into, he's probably not going to move. He's the interest rates are super low, but I'm still going to help him find the contractors for all the things that he wants to do. And just doing that will, I know like earn any referrals that he potentially might might come that might come his way and so i think that's just trying to always be of service after the sale and that's yeah. i always have all these different ways but yeah i've got a it's like a 30 45 day 90 day 180 day 365 day touch with kv core and i'll put it on in like a word document so people can copy it and edit it however they want and do the right like i don't even know what it's called these not the, the not parentheses or brackets but uh the way that lead first name needs to come on because yeah. i want it to be as personalized as i can so yeah. like something uh like on six months it's uh i don't i have a contractor list i don't give that out to my clients i want to be the resource i want them to call me like Adam Smith did last night. And so that's on there. Uh, you know, I'm sure there's ba uh, boxes that still uh, are unpacked. I have a contractor list as you begin to put some touches on your house, you know, feel free to reach out for anything there. And then like, I think in six months, I've got one that says, um, what's the one, your one favorite thing about living in your neighborhood? It'll help me share the story uh, of your community as I'm taking buyers around. And that one gets a response all the time. So That's all I'm doing is then I've set up the offense and now I just need to respond with the defense and, uh, and, and, and time block that, uh, time block the time to do all those things. Like, so when I send these texts, like I did yesterday about Notre Dame, I sent them out at 9 a.m. And I was like, I'm not going to respond to any of them until 1 p.m. And every single person had responded by then. So, because if you just sit there and you're like, oh, so-and-so just responded, Matt responded, boom, boom. Like, you're not going to get anything done. So I think that's really important as you guys kind of navigate through the days is, you know, if you're doing it the right way, people will engage with you. It's that intentionality you're talking about, 100%. not just being the, you know, Pop-Tart realtor, as we used to hear <laughs> that word back in the day. You know, it's like being very intentional, very focused with your time, you know, which is what allows you to maximize and sell at the level you're selling. How many people do you have in your database that you're touching um, on those 13 touches? approximately? Um, I think that is probably I, I have like a plus people. If you're if, like mm -hmm. from a Brian Buffini mindset, um, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not coached, but I'm not part of his program, but I, I uh, have taken some, I've watched some of his stuff. So I like rate like a pluses and there's 400 families, 400 addresses. So there's 800 people. Nice. And these are like super solid 90% going to call me back unless 
um, their brother gets a real estate license or the wife becomes friends through tennis with this brand new agent that just got their license. Uh, that's what happened last, last week. Do you do any farming at all? Or you a hundred percent just work your database? My farm is my, my, uh, I like to call buckets. So it'd be, you know, my church and school where I play golf, my financial advisor. I have like a strategic way of, you know, talking and, and, and so, and then it's like past clients and referrals. Um, so there's kind of just different buckets there, but I've never done a big, uh, I'm going to be the neighborhood guy of Windermere. There's 600 homes and I listed my neighbor's house and I really didn't like driving back. This is just me personally. I didn't want to drive home and see my house across the street and my neighbor being like, you know, you're in your golf outfit. What, why aren't you selling my house? So, uh, I just never got into, to marketing in my neighborhood. Now I've sold a lot of homes in my neighborhood, but I don't like consistently do it. Um, I'll show up at the neighborhood events and I'll be a contributor on the neighborhood Facebook page and things like that. Um, but I, I just, uh, I think it's more, where am I spending my time church, school, golf course, starting, uh, I played my go written goal was 50 times tennis and pickleball. Uh, I'm at 44 for the year. So like that has become a bucket and another thing. And it's just like, again, branching off from all these different things. It's, I know I'm going to go play pickleball. So I'm going to bring a uh, 12 cores lights and offer up beers for anyone after we play and then you get to know the people after that i did uh i knew i was going at 22 years old i knew i was going to uh basketball i don't play basketball anymore because i'm 42 and i'm like gosh if i tear an acl or an achilles i'm done with so many different things so uh so yeah but i was the thirst quencher of this basketball league and there were 120 people uh ages 22 to 32 and and I was the thirst quencher and I said I'm gonna bring Gatorades and water bottles so I'd go to Walmart that was the cheapest spot I had a system down and then I would only I would play in the league and then I would put my business card on the water and would just, people would love that and they saw the hustle and I would hang around from 4 to 8 p.m even though I was only playing one of those hours and uh, got to know some people and got the word out. And again, instead of them drinking out of the, the crummy high school drinking fountain, they've got Gatorades and Aquafina to drink. So. so if you don't have a database and you don't have a lot of connections, that's a great idea that he just threw out there about how to start building your database. So mm -hmm. if you don't, if you're maybe new in the business, because we have people, you know, that's all gamuts on this on these calls and that will listen to the replay as well. So a question around that, Drew. So for somebody who hasn't started really building a database or maybe they've been in the business and they haven't really created that, that touch program, two questions. What's the minimum that you would say, like you got to get a database built of this number of people right off the bat, as fast as you can, you need to get X number put in a database and then follow up to that is, if they had a thousand dollars to spend, where would you say spend your money right yeah. now in this climate, in this market and everything? So kind of twofold question on that. I would, uh, I would say, I would say 50 addresses or a hundred people uh, is how many you need and make sure you've got all in contact information because there's going to be lots of different things and ways that you can contact them. You want their addresses because you want to know where they live. You want to know where, are they in an apartment? Are they in a house? Can you send them a KV? Can you provide information about their neighborhood? Um, but you got to have your, all the records complete, and then you can start building these systems. Um, like I said, we do football calendar magnets. So simple. People text me. I, I won't, I'll just show up at their house randomly and they've got my magnet on their fridge and they get to see me from August 
through the Super Bowl in February. Um, but if I had a thousand dollars, I would do a thousand dollars worth of coffees and try to meet as many people as possible and see and become the biggest go giver that you can. And how can I serve you? What's what find if find out the biggest rock in their shoe. And if you can solve their problem, I'm telling you, they're going to help you with with yours and and send you either use you or um for their real estate stuff or send you all their friends but the, that face to face time individual individually is just so important because as many as I do a lot of one to many marketing but I still think you have to build that rapport and that relationship individually with the people I love that you know and you could to that point in building the relationships, we're coming into the fall. And so, you know, partner with your title company, partner with the lender, partner with, you know, we just talked about this on the on a previous mastermind call I was on, but partner with those people and maybe just invite people to a pumpkin patch, give a free pumpkin to everybody. You can get in front of a lot more people in a short amount of time. So, you know, we're in August, um, you know, Halloween's coming up and, so partner with a local pumpkin patch and do that. Like get, you know, a hundred people out there, 50 people out there, serve some cider while, while you're out there. Say, like, you know, come by, come by my table. I'm going to have some cider for you, hot cider. Um, Did I you know, tell a you? lot of people do. And I didn't, and I don't know if you'd ever done this, but a lot of people coming up to Thanksgiving, like they give pies, you know, they have the lo local bakery make pies, but you know, we're coming into a season where you can do some really good, great client events. I did about three years ago. Um, uh, maybe it was 2019, right before COVID, or maybe it was whenever. Um, I bought a bunch of talk about your dog. By the way, my dog's name's Louie too. But uh <laughs> oh, that's awesome. but um I bought a bunch of dog costumes, um, some off marketplace and some off of um some just off of Amazon, different sizes. And I had a fall um halloween shoot or a uh, photo shoot with your dog with with the costumes i had a local mobile groomer and stuff so you know so if you want to if you want to take that time and shrink it down just do an event you know and then next year just start doing those one-on-ones build those relationships and then just you know doing those coffees are I may, I, I totally agree with that. You got to be face to face with your people. And Kathy, we're doing that actually. October 14th, we're doing a pumpkin patch event where we hire a professional photographer. Yeah. Because people with families, uh, when my kids were younger, my wife wanted me barefoot in a creek somewhere taking pictures or like on a sunflower cornfield in Indiana on a random purple couch wearing like a denim button down from j crew that i'm like babe please i would never wear this i'm like a golf shirt and khakis guy um but so we bring the photographer they bring they wear their sunday best they come to the pumpkin patch we get jimmy johns and chick-fil-a we have a bounce house i have a tv uh, that I stream whatever football games on. I have a uh, candy corn and my mom's sits there and guess how many candy corn are in this thing. The closest one gets this TV and it, it costs like $3,300, but then 10 agents, uh, were involved in it and we just chopped it 10 ways. And so it's 300 bucks. So I think the biggest fear when, uh, running a client appreciation party is that no one will show up if it's mm -hmm. just you. And so you can partner with other agents and people are like, wow, Drew, like had no idea. There's 500, 600 people here. What a great turnout. You're the man. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much. This knocks uh, off the bucket list of bringing the kids to, to the pumpkin patch. Love that. Now, Do you get sponsors? I have for certain things for that. It's just so cheap when you divide and divide it up, you know, I would rather find a sponsor for something else. Like, uh, you know, there are definitely things like the, my Santa event that I have, a my lender, it's the only thing I ask him to, to do, uh, yeah. each, each year. So. Well, any last thoughts or questions before we wrap up, guys? We've got about two minutes. 
y'all are quite bunch. That's because he just delivered so many good things. Your heads are spinning, right? <laughs> oh, very true. I got a lot of ideas to help people on my team as well as myself to be more engaged in the community instead of just doing things randomly. <laughs> you can have, as you call it, you're focusing and you're mm -hmm. being intentional. So I really like that you keep bringing that up. So obviously that's very important intentional. So thank you so much for that. My pleasure. Yeah, so good. Well, we're going to post this recording. Um, we'll get that out either later today or in the morning. Well, we'll wait, wait. I will wait, Drew, till I get your Google Doc that you talked yeah. about. And um, so we'll make sure we get all that together and posting that. And, you know, thank you so much for sharing and just such great ideas and reminders and, you know, just the intentionality and the consistency that you mentioned is always a great reminder. Um, you know, for real estate agents and for our business um, that it really starts with that. It really just starts with that. And then having the plan, you know, to uh, to follow through with. And guys, just a last reminder, we, tomorrow at 10 o'clock Central, same time, um, come hear what Done For You is doing and, the, you know, that can help you with your clients who's looking to invest in different markets around, you know, around the, around the uh, U.S., not just in your backyard. Um, it. They've really got a phenomenal program that can help you and your clients and um, you can create, you know, some great referral fees for yourself. So come learn what they're doing. Same link tomorrow, 10 o'clock central time. And um, Drew, thanks again so much. Absolutely. Go get All them right. guys. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye. See you Bye -bye. later. Bye.